Hello, welcome to this new video. My name is Martina Vincenzi and I am the founder of the VIP Flight Attendant Academy Private Jet Coach. On today's, flight, on today's video, I would like to uh, talk to you about some funny situations that sometimes happen uh, during the flight that will eventually uh, change completely the vision that you might have about working as a VIP flight attendant. You know, working on a private jet is not only about uh, delivering an in-flight service, taking care of safety, security, you know, plating food, uh, cleaning the jet, uh, uh, taking care of the pilots. Uh, not really. There are uh, sometimes uh, some, some situation that actually um, makes it a completely different uh, uh, type of flight and uh, uh, who is driving those situation is the customer. So um, sometimes our customer do push us towards the right direction uh, and help us to, to understand how can we make this flight uh, memorable for them or more enjoyable at least. Um, so in particular, I remember two situations that was really, uh, you know, funny if you, if you talk to other people about it, absolutely normal in that specific moment in time and, and that I particularly enjoyed. So I remember uh, the first one was a, a day flight uh, from Italy towards America. It was owner's operations and uh, I was flying these uh, three gentlemen. So they were flying to America again for, for meetings, for business or, or uh, something, something like that. So one of them was the uh, owner of the company and the other two were business partners or collaborators. Uh, I, I don't really know, I don't, I don't really remember. Anyway, so the, the three gentlemen um, had lunch on board the jet uh, and then, you know, it was a day flight. So it's not like you expect them to go to bed. Um, if it is a day, a long haul day flight, they might just, uh, you know, stay up, relax, watch a movie or maybe work. Uh, but not necessarily they actually want to go to bed, right? So after, uh, after having served the lunch to them and eventually uh, an after meal drink, like a whiskey, brandy or something like that, uh, I was minding my own business in the galley. I was continue, you know, tidying it up, uh, organize, being organized um, for the next service uh, and, and just to, you know, conduct my work as normal. And uh, there is this, uh, this door that separates the galley from the cabin. And normally this door is always closed during the flight to ensure to the customer their privacy. We just normally open that only if we need to pass, obviously, and uh, maybe during service time because we need to go back and forth to the galley and the cabin several times. So anyway, at that moment, it, it was closed. And uh, I was meant to go to the cabin every 20 minutes to check on them because, again, they were awake, so they might have needed something. And, uh, and that for, for that time being was uh, uh, my engagement with them. So I was... Uh, mm, cleaning the galley or washing the dishes, I don't really remember. And eventually the owner, uh, he came in the galley. So he opened the door and came in and uh, he said, um, are you busy right now? Well, no, sir. I mean, um, I am nearly finished. So what can I get you? What do you need? And he said, you know, we have started a poker match and we are missing the fourth. Would you like to sit down and play with us? Oh, well, I say, you know, um, I would really enjoy actually, but the thing is that I'm absolutely crap at poker. Oh, do not worry. Do not worry. I'm going to give you a hand. You're going to be sitting ne near me and then I, I'm going to help you, um, you know, with the, with the game. So, um, you know, it's not like you can say no to a customer on a private jet. So I say, okay, fine, let's go. I just uh, informed the pilots uh, saying, hey guys, it looks like I have been uh, <laughs> pulled out for a, for a poker match. So if you need me, just, uh, you know, look back and I will leave the door open, the, the door that separates the galley from the cabin. I will leave it open and just, uh, you know, catch my attention somehow. Um, so if you need anything, I will be reachable. So this is what we did. We just uh, uh, had a few poker match. And, uh, and it was actually quite fun. I really, really enjoyed. Um, the other one, it was uh, uh, only one customer 
and we were flying, it was a medium haul flight. So between four hours, uh, five hour, um, four hours, four hours and a half, something like that, in a very like central time of the day. So too late for lunch, too early for afternoon tea, and uh, um, probably my customer wasn't even hungry. So in fact, uh, he and he was coming back home after a, a business meeting. So, uh, you know, after takeoff, I went to him and I addressed him by his name and I say, is there anything that you might need at this moment in time? Would you like, are you hungry? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of coffee? And he say, you know, what I really would like is just to have uh, something like a, a drink and maybe some crisps, so sort of an aperitivo. And then I would like you to sit down with me and uh, keep me company while we watch uh, the Wimbledon match. So tennis. And I say, well, that sounds lovely, let's do it. So I just prepared for him uh, an aperitivo. I poured him a glass of wine and then uh, we sat down next to each other and uh, we spent the rest of the flight just watching Wimbledon uh, on, on his iPad. So he was even, you know, explaining to me uh, the techniques uh, of, the, of the players uh, and um, I, I think it was like, um, a Serbian guy probably against a German very young guy so we were commenting on them we were discussing about the game discussing about the sport uh, and we had actually a really lovely conversation and uh, uh, I, I that was like unforgettable for me you know a very obviously a very easy and relaxing flight uh, again uh, before sitting down and just inform my pilot so that this is what the customer wanted to do so again you cannot say no so the thing is that if they engage with you on a conversation you cannot really quit unless there is something let's say particularly urgent for you to do like safety security or eventually the pilot calling you uh, otherwise you stay you stay and you talk to them until they say Thank you very much you can go um, if they want you to sit down with them you this is what you do and uh, uh, you know i know it might sound weird but for, for this type of context uh, for this type of situation such as the private jet it's actually how it works uh, you know they are um, how can i say suggest you which way you can take in order to get them what they want in order i mean they express their needs quite clearly and you just have to follow them so yes i tend to uh, kind of uh, drive them towards the direction i want them to take i give you an example if i have uh, uh, an hour and a half flights and i ask them are you hungry right now would you like me to start with your service? Uh, no, I'm not hungry now. Let's, let's have something to eat in an hour time. So an hour time, it would be too late for me because we will be on top of descent. So I kind of, uh, you know, make my way, drive them towards uh, the goal that I want to achieve. However, in some scenarios, in some situations, they drive me towards the goal that they want to achieve. They might just do not want anything, you know? They just want to have company. They just want to talk to you. They just want to share something. Sometimes they want to unload something. And, uh, and, and that's totally normal. They, you know, if in particular, I remember I flew for, a, again, an owner's operation and I became like familiar to the family, to all the family members. So uh, even in that case, for example, the, uh, the father was, was flying with the, one of the children and uh, uh, this this child was was a very young uh, boy and he needed to do the homework but the father was busy with uh, with a meeting online or i mean something to do with the computer so he asked me do you mind sit down helping him with mathematics and I say, yeah, yes, of course, let's do it. So you see, you, um, your duties on a private jet are not necessarily only about service, uh, safety and security, and, and let's say the normal airplane duties. Sometimes it gets a little bit more and it requires a lot of empathy and uh, um, flexibility, you know? In, it's just, uh, it's just it's, I would say it's more like a, a human touch, a human relationship between two individuals. Um, well, I hope I, I just managed to uh, put a smile on your face with my poker, <laughs> with my poker match and my uh, Wimbledon uh, watching TV. Um, as always, if you have any questions related to private jet and uh, the corporate industry, feel free to uh, reach out uh, to me. I will be very happy to answer all of your questions and. Uh, 
I think that's all for today. So ciao for now and uh, baci baci.